Hello all. Uh, this particular video will be a short introduction of how to use Moodle, both from the admin's point of view and from the teacher's point of view. So first have a look. This is a Moodle implementation which we have done for our college. So the very first thing is if you are a new user, you have to uh, click here, log in, then create new account. You have to fill all the details. Just make sure that the password follows this particular criteria. And then after entering all the details, uh, you will receive a, a mail in your inbox. Just click on that link, confirm the email, and then your account will be created. Using those credentials, you can log into this website and it will look something like this. After login, uh, I'm the admin, so my dashboard looks different uh, than yours. What exactly happens is if I want to uh, look how uh, the teacher's ad admin panel looks like, teacher's panel looks like, I have to simply switch my role to a teacher. Okay, so this is how it looks like. You have to go to the courses and then you will see there are n number of courses. For example, if I wish to add some content to my course, what I need to do is I need to go to that particular uh, subject which I am teaching. For example, this system security lab. Okay, so it looks something like this. The interface looks something like this. If you want to add some contents onto this interface, you simply need to press here, go here and press this turn editing on. Once you do this, you you will be able to see that now you can edit those sections. You can drag and drop, you can keep on moving it as per your wish. So what exactly you can do is you can write any announcement over here. You can add any content. For example, if I wish to add a uh, activity over here, add an activity over here. What I can do is I can click over here, add an activity and I will see n number of activities present over here. So for example, if I wish to add any assignment for my students, I can simply click on this add. Okay. And then you, it, it will ask you for certain uh, requirements. For example, the uh, assignment questions, the description, the additional files, for example, you have questions in a PDF file, you can upload those. And at the end, you need to give a cutoff date or a date by which the assignment should be submitted. You can give the due date, you can give the cutoff date. You can also uh, send a reminder to the students that uh, you have to submit this assignment uh, till this particular date. You can also give some reminder to you such that you don't forget to grade the students uh, assignments. So at the end, you need to click on the save and return to course and you will see this particular assignment on your home screen. I haven't given any name over there. For example, uh, let me see, uh, let me add a name over there. Assignment uh, one. OK, and then if I press OK. It should uh, bring me back to my home screen. So uh, you can either give questions over there by clicking over here, you can uh, give the questions in the assignment or you can drag and drop a, a word file or a PDF file, which will have the questions basically. So the students will be able to see this, the due date, the time remaining, etc. And at the end, you can grade those students. Similarly, in the add activity section, you will see there are n number of other activities. For example, you can add uh, a multiple choice question. You can add a quiz. You can even add your uh, notes. You can even add your books, for example, files. If you uh, want to add your notes, which is a PDF file or a word file, you have to use this particular section. Similarly, you can add an entire book or a PDF. Basically, you can create folders. For example, uh, this particular subject is uh, present in both division A as well as division B. So I can create a folder. Uh, for example, for example, uh, I teach in division A. So I can create a folder like this. You can write division A over there and uh, enter all the contents you wish into division A. So that the two teachers, two or three teachers who are teaching in a particular subject in different divisions can segregate their work accordingly. So this is how we can add or remove the uh, activities from your particular Moodle page. For example, if you wish to add a quiz, you can click on this. Using this quiz, you can grade the students. For example, in this lockdown period, you can uh, even give questions to the students so that they can attempt the quizzes uh, from their homes. You can grade the students and based upon that, you can give them marks. So you can give questions over here. You can set the various uh, conditions. You can uh, change the 
settings it's entirely up to the teacher what he or she wishes to do so basically this is how we uh, uh, edit the various activities inside our course page you are only allowed to check your course page you are not allowed to visit any other uh, teacher's course you need to enroll to that course first by sending him or her a request or even the teacher can enroll on their own by uh, sending an invite or a particular link so this is how the various activities can be uploaded inside a particular subject in your course so let's get back to your dash dashboard if i log out this is how the dashboard looks like okay if you are a student what you need to do is if you if you for example belong to computer engineering you will uh, simply go to your computer engineering branch for example you study in second year you will go to second year then which semester you are studying currently sem 4 and at the end the subject so what you need to do is you need to click on each and every subject and a button will be shown to you enroll me you need to enroll yourself to that particular course by doing this you will automatically get enrolled to that particular course you have to repeat this process for all the courses available in that particular semester by doing this you will keep on getting all the updates for that particular subject for example if i log in using my uh, teachers account i will be i will be able to see what are the various subjects assigned to me so for example if i click on this dashboard you will see that uh, these are the subjects for example cryptography and system security this is what i teach so i will be able to this particular i, I will be able to see this particular subject on my dashboard and uh, if you scroll down in the calendar section you will be able to see there will be notifications for the assignments or whatever updates the teacher has posted on the particular course for example i had just now posted the assignment so that particular date is shown over here what this will do is this will ultimately help the uh, student to remain in a loop so that he or she doesn't miss any particular deadline so for example you are having a test 7 days from now so in case you uh, forget the deadline of that particular test this particular calendar will remind you that you are having the test on so and so date so you won't have any reasons to forget that test correct so this is what uh, this calendar tool helps uh, you keeping a track of all the activities which are pending for example over here you can see the upcoming events it will also mention the time and the date by which you should be completing those assignments or tests or whatever activity your teachers have given to you so this is how this particular tool will be helpful for the students as well as for the teachers so i hope you all use it uh, the url descriptions will be given to you in the uh, description section so kindly click on it and use the tool wisely thank you